Well, Glenorchy could be provided with some added motivation ahead of its do or die tear cell elimination final against Lauderdale on Sunday. Injured coach Aaron Cornelius could be released from hospital as soon as this weekend, following his horrific knee injury earlier this month. It may not seem like much, but wheeling himself around the forecourt of the Royal Hobart Hospital is an achievement in itself for Cornelius, who's been confined to bed for the past 26 days. Looking at four walls, you can go mad and only looking at the sun through the window can also drive you, drive you insane. It's been almost four weeks since his horror injury during Glenorchy's win against Clarence. This morning he stood up for the first time. All the blood rushed back into my left leg and caused a little bit of pain and then my, my right leg was a little bit weak. Currently a return to the football field is the furthest thing from his mind. His sole focus is being able to walk again. A long way away from that and uh, look, that, yeah, that may, may happen or may never happen again. But his recovery is going well and he may be released from hospital as soon as this weekend. There's still a couple of things to do over the next two days, but uh, they've given me that um, Saturday is, uh, yeah, look, it's probably about an 80% chance that I'll go home Saturday. And that will be just in time for Glenorchy's do or die elimination final against Lauderdale at North Hobart Oval, a match the coach hopes to attend to inspire his young players. A lot of them know what I've been through so far and, and all, the, you know, all the ups and downs that I've had. I've had a pretty tough time recently in hospital, so um, hopefully me wheeling in through, through the door to the change rooms will, uh, will inspire them to play the football that they've been playing. Upon his release from hospital, Cornelius will move back into his family home in Glenorchy until the completion of his recovery. Brent Costello, Win News.